हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सर्वर ज्ञान माय नेम इज़ डॉक्टर लोकेंद्र सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रोल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ डेवॉप्स और लाइन एक्स एल थ्री इंजीनियर्स लाइक व्हेन यू आर गोइंग टू फेस एन इंटरव्यू सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट वॉट आर योर रोल्स एंड रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज पीपल यूजली गेट कन्फ्यूज दैट वॉट टू रेप्लाई एंड हाउ टू एंसर दिस क्वेश्चन so today in this video definitely i'm going to explain all these things that what do all l1 l2 l3 engineers do so before starting this video i would like to request you to please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press bell icon and you will be notified for my upcoming videos so the very first thing is giving critical uh, like resolving critical issues so whenever there is an issue with your ongoing application when your l1 and l2 support engineer are not able to fix this when your application is not starting up that is not coming up due to any reason so that moment l3 engineers are called and they have to fix the issues moreover when everything seems fine but your application is really taking taking long time to respond so at that moment l3 engineers are called and using their expert skills they have to debug the issues fixing unknown issues sometimes it happens that an issue comes very first time there is no prior information about the uh, like issue but that has to be fixed so at that moment l3 engineers are supposed to fix that so it could be any situation like when an issue comes very first time that could be possible that your system behaves abnormally or an engineer has to utilize his expert skills to find root cause of that apply that particular then after team management l3 engineers are supposed to manage team as well for example there are five member in the team so what person should be performing what task because l3 engineer can easily find it out or can easily figure it out that who is expert in what so first of all if there is a criticality or if any task has to be completed within short span of time so l3 engineer has to ensure that what task will be assigned to whom and moreover enabling team is also task of l3 engineer it means such a person who is responsible for maybe managing dns service or maybe managing apache or any other specific service so if the person is on leave due to some reason so there should be some other person who can take it over and the work should not get hampered so that is also task of l3 engineer that has to manage that team can handle the task in absence of any specific person then after taking care of all escalated issues for example when any alert comes so first of all l1 team tries to fix it when l1 team is not able to fix l2 team is called if level 2 team or tier 2 team is not able to fix at that moment l3 engineers are supposed to jump into the situation and they have to take care of that now providing solution and getting things imp implemented for example if any new service or any new tool has to be introduced within organization then l3 engineer is supposed to take care of that either the person can implement itself or the person can provide a solution that how we are going to implement and l1 and l2 team can implement that then after taking care of escalated issues for example there was an uh, eta that we can implement that we need to implement a tool within a week and it's already four or maybe five days gone and we are only up to 50% so at that moment also that issue can get escalated so at that moment l3 engineer has to jump in and has to fix the issue or can or you can call it like uh, a person will have to get the things deployed then after server and network so what are the role of uh, l3 engineer within server and network so first of all configuration of server and uh, like uh, designing network architecture so this is task of or uh, this is role of l3 engineer designing and get uh, design and getting approved from architect every organization has an architect who is supposed to approve the things first of all l3 engineer will design the things will design the architect diagram and after that that person is supposed to give some presentation to architect or maybe to higher management and after that uh, he is supposed to get approvals providing solution for new things 
and the existing application so if any issue comes with existing application or any new application is supposed to be launched so l3 engineers are supposed to provide solution for that now if anything has to be modified related to performance tuning related to uh, like service enhancement so that is the task of l3 engineer because l1 and l2 engineers are not supposed to modify existing application without having expertise skills related to application so that is the task of l3 engineer only then after coordinating with with it managers so discussing solution with manager that what we are going to implement why only this and uh, how it can be implemented how many uh, people are required to implement this then after taking decision in case of any critical situation so for example if there is an ongoing issue within environment and there is no other one and maybe your seniors are not reachable due to any reason so at that moment at that moment uh, l3 engineers has to be responsible to take decision maybe database is failing up so whether we need to fix existing database or we need to take uh, backup and we need to restore it so this type of decisions has to be taken by l3 engineers not all the times but at that moment when your application is down and there is nothing working out so at that moment l3 engineers have to take these steps then after planning and implementation of new things in production obviously like uh, if any new application is going to go live so how we are going to implement that what will be the steps to deploy it what are the prerequisite of implementing new things what all uh, components will be introduced how logging is going to work where backup will be stored what will be frequency of backup and, and rest of things has to be considered by your l3 engineers giving present presentation to manager management and uh, obviously getting approval is also task of your l3 engineer then after vendor management multiple organizations have such a fashion or uh, such an environment where uh, some of vendors are working for them so obviously getting task completed by third party vendors getting in touch with them in case of uh, any assistance if they require providing them complete help because as uh, just because of lack of uh, equipment or lack of uh, dependency work should not get hampered so that's the task task of l3 engineer it could be possible that an l3 engineer can assign l1 or l2 engineer to work with the third party vendor as they shall be able to work them work with them in hand in hand resource management obviously like as the like uh, position goes l3 so obviously l3 engineer will definitely have some of their associate so managing them in proper manner assigning them quality work and uh, l3 engineer has to ensure that every person who is working in team is able to get new task to be done or every person should be able to manage things so this is how your l3 engineer will have to work providing timelines of product deliveries for example if any new environment has to be created so how and when it can be completed how we can deliver things in time asset management is also task of l3 engineers for example who has access on what and uh, how many servers are there how many devices were available and who is accessing what so sometime l3 engineers has to manage uh, access and asset management finally rca sharing so first of all if an ongoing issue is uh, being fixed so l3 engineers are responsible for that then after once issue is fixed so she uh, like whatever findings an engineer has so the person has to document all the things all the issues as those issue if comes ever in future so these can be prevented by l1 or l2 engineers then after if issue comes then how to fix so for fixing the, those issues l3 engineers definitely pass on all the knowledge whatever it takes to fix such kind of issues so definitely l2 and l1 teams are provided proper guidance proper documentation proper knowledge for fixing in coming time then after performance tuning and testing so performance tuning it means an application if it is responding slow or if there is a scope of improvement so obviously an l3 engineer is always responsible for performing these kind of operations in production environment or either in development 
or wherever it is required. So first of all, definitely all the testings, all the testings are completed on development or maybe on testing environment. Once this goes well, performance testing is done. And after that, that application is working fine. These sort of uh, like things are completed. So after that, these things are performed in uh, production environment. So these are the things an L3 engineer has to perform. And I hope if you are going to face interview in near future, so you, uh, it will be really helpful for you to explain that what are your roles and responsibility being L3 engineer. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good time. Happy learning from server again. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to share with your friend. Thank you.